Welcome to BrainFuse. This video is a quick overview of BrainFuse. For more information, please take a look at your student guide. If you do not have a student guide, please send an email to info at BrainFuse.com. You will see the BrainFuse homepage as shown here after logging into BrainFuse through Blackboard. BrainFuse Help Now link is found under the Tools menu on the left-hand side of your Greenville Technical College page. As you will soon see, BrainFuse is user-friendly. If you need immediate help, click on Live Help. Select your subject. and click on Get Live Help. As you can see, the whiteboard opens up. As you can see, the whiteboard has opened up. Bill P is my tutor. BF Green Test 1, that's me. And the whiteboard, as you can see, this is the pencil. There's no limit as to how much stuff that you can put on the whiteboard. This is for typing. And as you can see, it expands in both directions. Audio is not used with our tutors. However, it is available if you decide to have your own online collaboration session through Meet. And for more information, again, please check your student guide. OK, so this is a printing. This is a pencil that I just showed you. And this is for sharing files. So you can browse and upload, outbox and inbox. And what you send through, let's say, the writing lab and the question center. So the writing lab is where you submit your papers. Okay, so if you don't want to get immediate live tutoring for writing right away, you just feel like submitting your paper for a review and then maybe log on with a tutor later, then you can use the writing lab. That said, what you send over to the writing lab is found in center. So you notice how there are buttons on the top as well. I like to call them the, the personalized features. And the message center is linked up with the writing lab and the question center. So the question center is anything but writing. Uh, so if you have science questions, math questions, you can submit it through here. And you can also upload files in the question center. And whatever you send to BrainFuse is saved and stored in the message center. And the message center is also linked up with the message center on the whiteboard. This is officially the name of this feature is BrainShare. But how you see how there's inbox and outbox. And whatever you send either directly to the tutor, the live tutor that you're connected with, or let's say you just submitted something yesterday, submitted something through the writing lab, and now you got it back, and you want to review it together with a live tutor, and then you connect with a tutor, you can click here and find the same paper uh, and go over it together with the tutor. And so uh, once this opens up, you will see the document, click on it, and copy paste the content onto the whiteboard. This feature is for sending, let's say you're in the middle of a great session and you want to email it to other people, put down their email addresses and send. This is Cloud Pack, and it's linked up with my Cloud Pack. And think of it as an online locker storage, uh, as well as a way to upload uh, more complex files like PowerPoint onto the whiteboard. So if you have a PowerPoint, or maybe you have pages of scan pages, or a PDF from a textbook, then you save it here. And then once you connect with our live tutor, you click here, you click on My Cloud Pack, and then you click on the document, and it would upload directly onto the whiteboard. This is Eraser. Again, this is for typing. You can type anywhere. This is for font change the font size. This is for changing color. Okay. And this is copy-paste. And um, let's 
say you took one of our practice tests, and our practice tests are found on the study as well as LEAP. Uh, and let's say LEAP is more basic skills. And so if you want to find some basic science questions, practice tests, you, go, you click on the test center, choose science, and let's say you want to take a bio practice test, click on take a test. So again, LEAP is more basic math reading, writing oriented. And let's say you went over, you want to go over some lessons. Um, you have some questions about what's here. And you want to copy paste, let's say, these practice questions onto the whiteboard and you don't feel like typing it out. Use any, any screen capturing tool. It doesn't matter which one. Okay? Just capture the image. Okay? Then go back to your whiteboard. Make sure your cursor is on the whiteboard. Click on paste. And there it is. This is how you can copy paste images onto the whiteboard. And one of the, the unique aspects of using BrainFuse is the fact that, yes, you can just get live tutoring if that's all you want. But if you want to have a more comprehensive, integrated experience where you want to take some practice tests and that's connected with live tutoring, also skills building, you get a study plan after taking one of our LEAP practice tests. Uh, then it's there for you. And this is a straight line. This is a graphing tool, number line. The thing to remember about the number line, again, all the details that I'm going over about the whiteboard, the information is found in the student guide. And as I mentioned before, if you do not have one or you lost it, send an email to info at brainfuse.com. Mention the fact that you're a student at Greenville Technical College and you need a student guide. If you need to change the number of settings, just double click. And you can change it to a fraction mode, pie mode, etc. This is the graphing paper. Okay. And of course you can draw on it, whatever you need to do, type on it. Okay. If you need to type anywhere on the whiteboard, you can click here or just click on the whiteboard and, your, and the cursor sh will show up. And if you need to change the number of settings, so once again, just double click. And there you go. And then you can change it to a fraction pie, et cetera. These are free shapes and very flexible. You can put them anywhere. You can also change their color. Okay. These are math and science symbols. And if you want to put a symbol on the whiteboard, just make sure that the cursor is on the whiteboard. Click on font to make it bigger. Choose your symbol, and there it is. Science symbol works the same way. Super and subscript, if you want to do x square, press on superscript, there you go. And then if you want to go back to regular typing, just click on ABC. And then if you need to do a subscript, just click on subscript and click on the number that you want or whatever you need to do. This is for deleting everything on the whiteboard. So you got to be careful with it. If you just want to do undo, then just click on undo. It undoes this feature, undoes the very last thing that you did on the whiteboard. You can also erase it if you want to. Now, any live session that you do with our tutors, as well as, let's say, you decide to have an online whiteboard session with your friends or maybe even with your professors where you can use audio, et cetera. You can find the recordings of the whiteboard sessions, whether it's with our tutors or the meet session, under the past session. So any kind of tutoring session, anything that involves live connection with our tutors or anything involving live connection using our whiteboard, uh, you find the session recorded under past session. So you can replay it. You can email it to other people. You can just view the transcript. So each of these, what I call the personalized features, are actually linked up with the big buttons at the bottom. 
and the, all the certain features that are linked up to linked to the whiteboard itself. There's no special download involved with the whiteboard. The only thing that you need is Java. And again, if you experience um, any technical issues, if you're not sure who to contact, please send an email to info at brainfuse.com. Just be sure to mention the fact uh, you are a student at Greenville Technical College and that uh, if you have, you're having technical issues, please be as detailed as possible. Okay, so that is the whiteboard in a nutshell. I'm going to close it. And you get the survey, and it's up to you as to whether you fill it out. Uh, if you really had a great experience and you want to pass it along to our tutor, please put it here. Notice that you can also email the transcript or the video replay, the whiteboard replay, by clicking here. Also, just replay the entire session on the spot. Go back to the home page. And you can click here to see the page in Spanish. Language Lab. So this is where you go if you want to brush up on Spanish or you want to learn to speak Spanish. But just know that our tutors do not use audio. In case you're wondering why that is, it's because we do monitor the sessions and we need a recording, a complete record, complete record of what happened. And that's difficult to do if all the exchanges between most of the exchanges are uh, spoken. All right, so LEAP, so we get to LEAP. And as I explained before, this is where you find basic skills, math, reading, writing tests. So you wouldn't find science tests here. The, the One of the unique things about LEAP is after you take one of the LEAP tests, so you click on Take Diagnostic. So if you haven't taken any tests, the first tab that you would see, the only tab that you would see is Take Diagnostic. And then you would choose your area. Okay, and then you would choose your subject area. And then you would take the practice test. And after you take it, you get a very detailed study plan. You can also click here to view the test questions. And then you get a pie chart. And every time you finish something in this study plan, so if you need to review uh, absolute value and sign numbers, you also view this video. The video has audio. Uh, you can either view the video first or click on Live Help Get a Tutor or click on I'm Done after you view the video and you understand it. I'm done. Every time you click on I'm Done, you get a check mark here, but also notice how the pie chart tracks your progress. Study tab is where you find Flashbulb, which is a fun idea. You find a vast wealth of flashcards, quizzes, host of materials that you can take a look at. You can also create your own. Please note that Flashbulb, if you want to create your own flashcards, you do need to either have a Facebook account or you need to sign up. Click here to go back to BrainFuse. This is for Compass Prep, so if you're taking Compass, then you can come here, take a practice test, or get live help, or after taking a practice test, you're going to get uh, the list of topics that you need to work on, so something like, so my test shows all of the tests that you've taken, so let me just choose a Compass test, and then you'll see what I'm trying to get at. Take a test, okay, so now I'm, I'm on my test page. So my test on top, this link here, is linked up to the test centers, the two test centers that you see here. This is a generic one. This is one that's specific to Compass. And this is basic skills. And let's say I click on the test. I start the test. Okay. I'm just going to jump to the end, but what you would do, obviously, is uh, just choose your answer, let's say, uh, and move on, next. And then you just jump to the end, done. And then you get this message that says, thank you for completing the test. To review your answers, please click here. And what you see is a complete list of topics that you need to work on. 
which which in my case it's which in my case is everything. So the red bar indicates that I got everything wrong. And uh, if you want to go back to the question, you can just click on the numbers. If you want to go back to the summary page, just click on answer summary. And you notice how whenever I hover over with the mouse, I get get live help. So I can click here and my tutor would actually see that I need to work on percentages. And you can put the questions on the whiteboard. And again, my, my favorite way that I recommend is just use one of the uh, many screen capturing tools that's available on every computer nowadays. OK. And then you see how you can retake it as often times as you like. Now, the reason why you don't see retake next to the LEAP test that's found on this page is because this is LEAP. So it's just supposed to fo you're supposed to follow a very detailed study plan. So we don't want people retaking too often. So once you get the results, you need to go through it. However, with all the other tests, including the one that's ones that are found in the generic test center, like this one, you can take the test as often times as you need. And of course, any test that you've chosen would show up here. Now we get to collaborate. And uh, Brainwave is a, another fun idea where you can make a recording on the whiteboard and email it and share it with other people. Meet, as mentioned before, is a way to have an online whiteboard collaborative session where you essentially, you're scheduling an online whiteboard session for yourself. Um, whether you are the, the main person showing other people something or maybe you scheduled it with your instructor, professor, because you want your professor to show you something, or maybe it's your classmate because they know they're yeah, good at something, and uh, you want them to explain it to you. So the great thing about Meet is the people that you invite do not need to be members of BrainFuse. They don't have to have BrainFuse username. Just put in their email addresses, and this box expands. So it's not limited to this little tiny rectangular box here. Put in the time, subscribe to the meeting, send the invitation, and you will find it in my calendar. So let me actually create one. Let me send the invitation to myself. Call it demo. Send the invitation. Okay. At this point, I can edit, add more people, change the time, or delete the whole thing. or I can add more sessions. I can also enter, so let me enter. So I'm the organizer, and as you can see, audio lights up, and this is not open mic, meaning that you gotta press on it in order for the other side to hear you, and we deliberately made it that way so that the other side, the other people don't hear extraneous noise. I'm also gonna log in as the person who got invited, so let me quickly log into my demo Yahoo account. OK, so I'm the person who got invited. So I sent the invitation to myself. And you see how the invitation arrives in the inbox like this. So I click on the link, sorry, on the email. And I get this link. And I click on the link. And I could sign up if I wanted to. But let's say I don't want to do that. I'm just going to click on Enter Session. And as you can see, the whiteboard opens up. Okay. Usually the it doesn't look like this, but my screen resolution is, is big, so 
Anyway, as you can see, audio is also active on the participant side. Now going back to the organizer, that's me, BF Green Test 1, and this is the person that I invited. Now what's special about the Meet Whiteboard is the fact that it truly is designed for a group session. It's a classroom and not just a one-to-one -one box. So you get a public whiteboard, and you can also play around with public and private. For instance, again, all this information is found in the student guide. So as the organizer, I can take away somebody's whiteboard permission, chatting permission, and audio permission. Also, if I wanted to, I can right-click on the person's username. And you see how all these options show. I, there's also the option to desktop share. Uh, so if there's a very complex Excel sheet, let's say, and uh, the only way to make sense out of it is for you to actually see it on the other person's desktop computer, then you would start desktop sharing. Send quizzes is only, this feature only makes sense if the other person is also a BrainFuse user and they got some tests that they have not taken. Same thing with who is. So unless the, the people that you invited are BrainFuse users and they're students who use BrainFuse, you can ignore who is and send quizzes. And also you can ignore transfer students. But anyway, let's say I want to enable private whiteboard for this person so that I can do whatever I need to do on the public whiteboard, which shows up for everybody, and they can do whatever they want to do on their private whiteboard. So you see immediately how there's a second tab now. So as the, as the person who got invited, Whatever I do on my computer stays only on my whiteboard. It doesn't show up in public. However, what I do on my whiteboard, the public whiteboard, as the organizer, shows up for everybody. Okay, so I put the number line on the whiteboard, and you see how it also shows up here. So it's a great tool, Meet, especially if you are having a group of your peers or maybe you are with your, your professors and that you want them to show you something. Obviously, you don't want to be taking away your professor's whiteboard privilege. That said, it's a whiteboard that's very useful in a group setting. And so if you want to take away somebody's whiteboard permission, just click on it. And it actually asks you, are you sure you want to disable it? And uh, the default setting, the default setting for chatting is private. So what that means is as the student, as the person who got invited rather, if I type hello, initially it shows up private, meaning that I'm the only person who can see that 152552 said hello. However, let's say I want everybody to see what this person is saying. In that case, I can just click here, okay, which disables private chat, or I can go here, right click again, and disable all private chat. That's another option. And then for taking, a, taking away audio, as you probably guessed, just click here. And as I mentioned before, you got to press in order for audio, the other side, to hear you. And that's deliberate because we don't want extraneous noise to come across to the other side. It's not, it's not an open mic. Now, so the Meet Whiteboard is great uh, for a group session that you may want to have. And we've seen this whiteboard getting used by faculty and college tutors as well. Uh, but as a student, whatever information that you saved on your student home page, like CloudPack, for instance. Let's say you save something on CloudPack. Um, let's say you have papers in your message center. Please note that the Meet Whiteboard actually carries over the, that kind of information. So whatever information that you saved on your student home page, like CloudPack, or you submit a paper through the writing lab, or maybe you just uh, had a, you just got off, logged off of a, having a whiteboard writing session with a BrainFuse tutor and you exchange files, you exchange files, then you will find it here as well. 
and you can also upload additional files. Just click there, browse and upload. So that is the Meet Whiteboard. And if you have any more questions about using BrainFuse, please send an email to info at brainfuse.com. And uh, we're done for today. Thank you.